Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. I started saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, and Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash. I say double honors to our apostles, it was great millstone. Shalom, Wakasa, Allah, Bakyar. Wish that's peace and mercy to the elect out there that's supporting the ministry and, um, you know, making everybody's living sacrifice, especially for the brethren that are out there on the front lines. Um, and what I just uh, read is uh, Romans, the third, ch third chapter, verse three and four, uh, just repeating it. It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? And uh, the next the next uh, verse um, answers that question, which is Yahweh forbid, meaning Yahweh know. You know what I'm saying? Because the un the unbelief of the, the the unbelief of these people is not going to make the word of Yahweh by Shimei void. You know what I'm saying? In other words, just because they don't believe it doesn't mean it's not going to take place. Um, because uh, you know, the scriptures uh, uh speak of uh, you know, uh, certain things that 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 have came to pass and that is coming to pass and that will come to pass. Uh, and uh, the main thing that we are hoping for is uh, for Babylon hoping. And that we know, you know what I'm saying, uh, that will come to pass is uh, Babylon the Great being destroyed very soon in the near future, which is uh, America and uh, Yahweh Shah, our Lord Savior, uh, returning uh, to deliver us and, uh, you know, um, uh, reign supreme. You know what I'm saying? These things we do know and um, we are uh, we are uh, sure, you know what I'm saying, that these things that these things um, will come uh, come into effect, man. It's just a matter of time, you know what I'm saying? That's why um, I got to get this real quick. This I didn't actually have. Um, I had a few scriptures lined up, but I didn't have this one. But it just the Spirit hit me. I might as well bring it out. Um, we brought this out earlier, too, on the line. This is um, Second Ezra chapter 4. Um, let me see. I started. Um, I want 37, but uh, I just want to see if there's anything. I should get to the point. So uh, in Second Ezra chapter four, by verse thirty-seven, by measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times, and he doeth not doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled, man. And 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 what's that said measure? That said measure being fulfilled is is basically the you know the time of the threshing, you know what I mean the the, the times when you how, the time when you how about Shimei um you know, will, uh, will finally do what he said he was going to do, which is ultimately destroy this place, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, like I said, we don't have that. We don't have that much longer. We just have to continue to uh, watch, continue to pray. You know what I'm saying? Offer of these righteous uh, sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lord willing, it's acceptable to y'all by Shimei Shah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just, it's just you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can get, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, discouraging at times, man. But, you know, it's, it's, it's all part of the job, you know what I'm saying, like I said, and our job is to continue to watch, continue to, to edify, and, um, you know, uh, give attendance to reading, like the scriptures speak about, but, uh, let me, let me go, um, let's get this real quick, man, because a lot of our people, too, they don't believe that, uh, the Messiah is, uh, is going to come back, hell, a lot of our people don't even believe that the Messiah came, but that's all, uh, you know, good and dandy, man, because we understand that that's a part of prophecy as well, and this is why the scriptures um, speak, um, this is why this scripture in particular speaks about what it speaks about. That's why I'm about to get it. This is um, second answers. I'll start from the top. Second answers 15 and 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, man. And um, like I said, the, some of the major things, um, if not a one, of, or one of the two major things, uh, that's part of prophecy is the MOTB, man, and the ushering in of this B system, man, that this devil is about to roll out, man. You know what I'm saying? So we have to continue to watch and, like I said, continue to warn the flock. You know what I'm saying? But, and then, then we have, you know what I'm saying, right after that, the MOTB, um, you know, uh, the main uh, prophecy uh, right before Yahweh Shah comes back is, uh, you know, World War Three, And then basically in the midst of World War Three, Yahweh Shah is going to, uh, you know, come back. Um, and then all, you know, according to prophecy, those, uh, those, uh, uh um, you know, Esau and other nations are going to 
you know, basically um, stop fighting each other and then try to turn on the Lord to fight him. When you read uh, 2nd Ezra's uh, 13th chapter, it says, uh, uh, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, man. These these scriptures are faithful and true, man. We know, we 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 understand and know, man, and that these things will come to play, man, will come to pass. You know what I'm saying? Now, to the unbelievers... Yeah, of course it is, man. I mean, up to the unbelievers, of course it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna seem like it's tearing, and it's gonna, you know, they, of course they're not gonna believe on, 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 on these words, but that's all good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me find me. Um, I'll, 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 I'll actually finish this verse off, and then I go, I go to the precept I had next. Second Ezra fifteen and three. It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. For all the unfaithful shall die in their un." Shall the, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Yeah, so these people are gonna die in their in their unfaithfulness, man. Their disbelief. So hey, man, it's to hell with them, man. And that word incredulity basically just means um uh, uh you know the unbelief, man. You know what I'm saying? So let not the unbelief of them trouble thee, man. That speak against thee, man. These people are speaking against us, which is ultimately they speaking against y'all by Shimon Shah, because we're not coming in our in our own stead and we're not bringing out our own words. This is the words of y'all by Shimon Shah. But this is the uh, the scripture I want to get as well. Uh, the reason why they don't believe, you know what I'm saying? Because everything goes back to the scriptures. Everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Even when these people think that they're acting out their own will or, they're, you know, they, you know they, they're they doing things on their own merit. You know what I'm saying? Look, man. How about Shemel Shah has got everything calculated and quantified down to the, 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 to the damn <laughs> molecular structure, man? This is uh <laughs> this is Titus chapter one verse fifteen. It says, Unto the pure all things are pure. You know what I'm saying? And when you and basically when you go into that word pure, it, you know what I'm saying? It basically it, it just goes into the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says, Unto the pure all things are pure. And who who are considered pure, who who consider chaste versions in the eyes of Yahweh Shah, the elect. So it says, Unto the pure all things are pure. And and then what does the scripture say, man? The word of the Lord is pure. The word of the Lord is um uh, purified being tried seven times. I believe that's in uh, Psalms. Yep, Psalms uh, twelve and six. It says the words the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of 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 earth purified seven times. Man, so this word is considered pure, and um the the men of the Lord the, the elect are considered um a pure in the eyes of Yahweh Shimon Shah. So it says unto the pure all things are pure. 